The protests do not impact so much on the government because the government is there a, on a strong majority of 64 members in the coalition and that 64 member majority is, is still there regardless of uh, the, the protests. Uh, Netanyahu has a very strong grip on his coalition with all of the uh, uh, turmoils that we've seen in the, in the year and a half of this government before and after the war. Uh, the grip that he has on that coalition is still standing and therefore as, as big as uh, the, the protests may be uh, for the government to fall down uh, for this to happen it has to happen through a motion in uh, the Israeli parliament the Knesset uh, to which 60 at least 61 members will vote uh, for it the opposition has a uh, 56 members so far we're not seeing any of the coalition members crossing uh, the line voting with the opposition on any of these uh, motions and yet Netanyahu came out with this um, with this uh, um, a video of his saying that the US is is withholding some uh, weapon shipments and that of course was all brought up by the protesters even that is not uh, able for the moment to shake up the Netanyahu coalition we know that there is a uh, great anger in uh, the United States the Americans are saying we simply don't know why Benjamin Netanyahu had to do this? Why did he have to come up with this video? And why did he have to do this at such a sensitive time? Israel does not only depend on the United States for its, the success of its campaign in uh, Gaza. For anything regarding Gaza in the United Nations Security Council with the Americans vetoing again and again and again any anti-Israel emotion. Uh, now, as, as it seems, uh, war in the north may be uh, getting close and, and Israel would strongly need American um, American uh, support not only on the diplomatic level but on the battleground level as well uh, uh, saying uh, coming out with such a video at this sensitive uh, time say the Americans we simply don't understand why it happened